These are the Yazidis, a Kurdish minority spread across Iraq, Syria and Turkey. Their prime deity is Melek Taus, the Peacock King. According to Yazidi culture, God created seven divine beings whom Tausi Melek was created from his own illumination and appointed as the leader. Later, God gave life to Adam from his own breath and instructed all the seven divine beings to bow down to Adam. All of them obeyed except for Melek Tavus. In answer to God, Melek Tavus replied, How can I submit to another being? I am from your illumination while Adam is made of dust. Pleased by his duty boundness, God made him the leader of all angels and his deputy on the earth. The Yazidis worship Melek Tavus in the form of a peacock and the serpent is the totem of Melek Tavus. However, peacocks are not native to the lands where Melek Tavus is worshipped. So what explains the Yazidis worshipping the peacock? The Yazidi god of Melek Tavus bears striking similarities with the Hindu god Muruga or Kartikeya. According to the Hindu culture, Lord Muruga was born out of the six sparks that emanated from the third eye of Lord Shiva. And like Melek Taos, Lord Muruga too was very outspoken and was appointed as commander-in-chief of the Devas. And the peacock is the Vahana or the mount of Lord Muruga. It is not just the gods which are similar. The Yazidis celebrate their new year around April 14th, which is around the same time when Hindus mark their new year. Incidentally, the first full moon day in the first Tamil month, Chitrai, which falls in the month of April, is the festival of Chitra Purnami, a day when devotees observe fasting and worship Lord Muruga. The temples of the Yazidis are situated on hilltops, much like the temples of Lord Muruga. The Yazidi temples also look similar to a Hindu temple. The Yazidis worship with the Arati, much like the Hindus do. The lamps used by the Yazidis have a striking similarity to the lamps that Hindus use. This is a wall painting not from India but from the temple city of Lalesh in Kurdistan, Iraq. Like the Hindus, the Yazidis too sport a tilak on their forehead. And like the Hindus, the Yazidis believe in reincarnation and transmigration. The Yazidi culture bears more resemblance with the Hindu ideas than it does with any of the religions in their surrounding areas. It is interesting to understand how two cultures established in geographically diverse regions can have significant common roots that bring them so close together. There are several such instances where pagan cultures in other parts of the world bear a striking resemblance to Hindu gods and culture. The similarities between Hindu and Greek gods are much talked about. Both Indra and Zeus are the kings of the gods. Their weapons are thunderbolts and both of them slay a sea monster. Indra's opponent is the serpent Vritra and Zeus fights and vanquishes Typhon. Yama and Hades are the lords of death and preside over the netherworld. Both decide the fates of the souls that pass into their realm and both are deeply concerned with justice. The god of love Kamadeva, also known as Manmatha, is what Cupid is to the Greeks. The holy trinity of Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva is identical to the Greek holy trinity comprising Zeus, Hades and Poseidon. The Ursa major constellation of seven stars is called the Saptarshi in Hindu culture while they are the seven sisters known as the Pleiades in Greek culture. Some of the characters in the stories of Mahabharata and Ramayana are similar to characters in the Greek epics. Even Egyptian gods and goddesses have some counterparts in the Hindu pantheon. The Egyptian sun god is called Ra. The Hindu sun god Surya has another name, Ravi. Apis or Hapis is an Egyptian bull deity that is worshipped in the Memphis region. Much like the Hindu god Nandi, Hapis serves as an intermediary between humans and an all-powerful creator god Ta, which sounds similar to the Sanskrit word Pita, meaning father. Another interesting Egyptian god is Nefertem, who was originally a lotus flower at the creation of the world, who had arisen from the primal waters. This is close to the creation of Brahma, who is said to have been born from a lotus flower that emerged from the navel of Lord Vishnu, who was sleeping on an ocean of milk or the Milky Way. Up in the region in what is today Russia, the Slavic deities bear a striking resemblance to the Vedic Hindu deities both in pronunciation and in significance. 
Rudd, the primordial god and creator of the universe, bears much semblance to Rudra. Lord Shiva's attributes are materialized in a Slavic female deity called Ziva. Just like how Shivalingam denotes fertility, the Slavic Ziva is the goddess of fertility. Both Hindu goddess Kali and Slavic goddess Morena are goddesses of death. Triglav is a Slavic word for god with three heads, almost identical to the Hindu trinity. Swarog is the Slavic sun god and Swarga in the Sanskrit language means heaven. An ancient Vishnu idol dating to the 7th to 10th century AD was allegedly found during excavations in an old village in Russia's Volga region. Given that Hinduism is the oldest culture, all these bears testimony to how Hindu culture has influenced every nook and corner of the world.